It's here, the new Gabby Gourmet Guide for 2013. Pat Miller, our restaurant reviewer, has been to hundreds of places, maybe thousands, along the Front Range and the Western Slope, and you will find her reviews in this book. Conveniently shaped to slip into a stocking at the holiday time, stocking I've noticed. Stocking in your car, in your vest, wherever you go. Exactly, and you've been doing it. This is the 27th edition. It Congratulations. Is. Thank you. That's it, wonderful. And you I started at four. Exactly. You did. We all did. Yeah. And at any rate, you have changed it up a little bit this year. It's yes. a unique system for rating well, these restaurants. We've always had to die for it because that's been my expression. Right. I don't know how that happened, just like the pigs. So this year we have to die for, and we've added five pigs. Five little piggies. But to die for are the ones that are the most popular. We go down to three. Nothing in the book is horrible. Don't waste paper on that. We tell you where to go, how to get there, what they have, when they're open. And let's see what to eat on some it of is, our top ones. Yeah, definitely. This book is such a time saver and a money saver for you as well. It's really fun, but if you want inexpensive, expensive. And these are not outrageous. They're just to die for. Excellent. Okay, we'll start at fruition on Six and Marion. And he's brought a seared tuna with sweetbreads. Looks marvelous. And their beet salad is just extraordinary with beautiful cheeses and nuts. And then in front we have the duck and pork pate, and those are pistachio cakes, in case you didn't know. They're, and they're beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Barolo Grill on 6th and St. Paul or Milwaukee, we all adore. And I've actually had a couple of these dishes. This is the butternut squash annulati, or cli, as they call it, with brown sage butter, parmesan, and those are pumpkin flakes on top. This is the Brussels sprout warm Brussels sprout and cabbage salad with pine nuts and cranberries and pecorino. And in front, I have not had this absolutely fabulous looking pork tenderloin with apples and fennel and a farro sweet potato underneath it. You just want to eat everything. Every last morsel. But wait, you're going to root down. 33rd in Osage. Everybody adores root down. Me too. It is totally to die for as well. And Daniel comes up with, un oh, this. I can hardly wait. Sweet potato falafel. Oh, my. With an Israeli salad, chili oil, and tahini. I'm ready to dive into that one. We decided we should all be eating when we go on air. Then there is the ricotta gnocchi. And they've got hazelnuts with a hazelnut pesto, fabulous cheeses, mushrooms, divine. And then, of course, a little dessert, a banana creme brulee. Does it complete with the bananas and all that good stuff? My heart melts every time you go describing another dish. Do you, you just really want to? I know these uh, are special occasions. Your mouth waters as you're talking about exactly. Them. And, and it's, last but not least, yeah. never Shanahan's, which is absolutely fabulous out on Bellevue and I-25. The shrimp, we all the chefs, we're all sitting. Look at that! Can you believe a shrimp cocktail like that? But that is what they serve. And then, of course, they have their porterhouse steak, which is coming your way right now. A small 20-ounce prime gorgeous steak. And then tuna to, uh, carpaccio with all the trimmings. My goodness. You know how to pick them, Pat. Every it's week, not hard. It's not hard. Do. When they lay out a spread yeah. like this. Every week, we post these segments for you on our website, and you can find a link by going to Lifestyle and clicking on Food. Give us a little time, and we'll post it there. And Pat and I also post these uh, segments on our Facebook pages, so look for them there. But right